Minister of the Environment, Balarabi Lawal, says the federal government is committed to completing the environmental remediation of Ogoni land within the shortest possible time. He conveyed the government's assurance during a visit to River State for the inauguration of a water project for some oil-impacted communities. Correspondent Uche Okoro has details. The hydrocarbon pollution remediation project completed the water scheme for Bumu community in Gokana local government area. It is in compliance with the UNEP report on Ogoni land, which recommended the provision of portable drinking water for the people as an emergency measure. Yeah. Yeah. Minister of Environment led government delegation to open the facility alongside his counterpart in the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs. He and other stakeholders in their assessment say Hyprep is working hard to improve the well-being of Ogoni land after decades of oil pollution. The importance of clean up and accessible water cannot be overstated. It is a fundamental human right and a cornerstone of public health, economic development, and overall well being of our communities. Today, as we look at these facilities, we are not merely turning on a tap but opening the door to improve health, enhance quality of life, and brighter future for the communities of Bomu and Kogo. The commissioning of the Bomu and Kogo water facilities marks another milestone in our collecting journey toward successfully implementing the UNEP report on Ogoni land recommendations. Access to clean and safe water, as you know, is a fundamental human right. And today, we witness once again the fulfillment of this promise to the hydrocarbon impacted communities in Ogoni land. The minister also took out time to inspect some sites of the ongoing Ogoni cleanup exercise. He said the project has experienced some setbacks over the years, but that under the current administration, things are getting better. This is a project. It's not an agency like what doctor is, is headed. It is a project that has a lifespan. The chairman of BOT mentioned that it is supposed to be, or it has gone through seven years. The expectation initially was for it to last for only five years. But apparently we have to keep on moving because maybe we didn't get the funding on time. So let us see it as something that we have to move and move very quickly in order to get it done. High Prep also reports success in other key areas, such as the planting of 500,000 mangrove seedlings, making it the world's largest restoration of oil-degraded mangroves. Uche Okoro, TVC News. Kana.